Hey brother and sister, brother G World Seven Score D. I'm gonna do another video, maybe tomorrow, or at least sometime during the week. But I I've always talked about how it's very important for us to continue to study our real history, and do not allow individuals who are not of your group to define who you are. I'm constantly hearing on YouTube and other outlets how foreigners, no matter what racial background are trying to dictate and define who we are. And I'm hearing it also, mainly a lot of these black immigrants, man, trying to define who we are, telling us who we are, when they have no idea who the hell we are. They don't know our history or our culture. They just run off the mouth, and they shouldn't be speaking on any of our issues. You know, they just shouldn't. They have no business. They have no linkage to our our, our lineage. They should not be speaking on any matter related to us. They shouldn't be doing that. And unfortunately, you have your pan-Africans, your pan this, who want to push that we're one global Negro, which we're not. We're not. And the sad point about it is, when we use that concept, we're one global Negro, these individuals, all they're doing is stealing our history and our culture, man. You know, like this little goofy little um, mixed chick, Tyler, coming over from South Africa. You know, there's people who from South Africa want, want think it's okay for the term colored to be used here in America. That's totally disrespectful, man. People try to tell you how things go down in America, how things are in America. But yet, you want to persist to force your beliefs unto us into our land where we at in our domain it just tells you how sick these individuals are and how disrespectful and ignorant they are and how much they are culture vultures remember this stuff was created by us this doesn't come from no Africa or the Caribbean or no black Latinos this comes from us and this is a concerted effort to try to steal our culture and the various different things that we invented and try to give it to foreign blacks and that's wrong and it's sick. But that's happening. And this is something that we're going to have to basically speak on. The goofy pan-African or the pan is not going to bring this up. They're just going to see one global Negro. They're not going to call out the foolishness that you see amongst some of these other Negroes. Now, I don't use the term diaspora because there is no diaspora. Because we're not the same. And I mean that. But... You want to have a goofy Pan-African. They've, come, they've, been, they've been on my pages before. Stating that mess. We're all the same. Won't we just stop being tribalistic? I mean, really. You know, all I say is. We're going to have to realize what we truly are. Stop listening to outsiders. Tell you who you are. You're going to continue to be confused and lost. When you have foreigners tell you who you are, you want to have to stop doing that. Study your real history. Do not allow idiots to dictate and tell you your history, even if they look closer to you in skin complexion. So, brothers and sisters, that's just a quick video I'm just making now. But just to emphasize, continue to do research and do not allow foreigners to write your narrative and to tell you who you are. And that includes foreigners who are melanated, who have skin tone closer to you or like you. That includes them too. Because a lot of them are used as buffers to go around to cause confusion in our communities or when it comes to identity. Wake up, brothers and sisters. Peace and love.